You guys went to the most epic estate sale recently and I got probably 50 or more items. So this haul video is gonna be in two parts. So welcome to part one of this insane estate sale haul. Hi, I'm Andy. In case you're new here, I'm a vintage home decor reseller and interior stylist. So to give you some background on the sales, this was a highly anticipated estate sale that a lot of people were waiting for. They actually had pushed the date out many, many times because there was just so much stuff for people to go through and for them as the estate sale company to organize. I mean, the rooms are filled basically from underneath the tables and the ground all the way up to the ceiling. I'm not even joking. There were rooms dedicated to just like all copper pieces, like anti copper pieces and like all wooden boxes and glass. And it just was, it was just incredible. So I'm not surprised it took them a long time to sort through everything and get the sale live. You had to get there very early. So I got there um, three hours early. So I was like the professional reseller that day. Usually I don't do the estate sale game because I'm not like a fan of standing in line and it rains in Oregon. I'm just like, I don't like standing in the rain and then the cold. But that day, the weather, it was cold, but it was clear. No rain. I got there three hours early. And I basically, by the time I was done at that sale, uh, about five hours had passed. So I was like three hours in line. I was like two hours in that hall home going through over and over and over again. And when I show you the pictures, I mean, you guys will be like, of course you had to go to that sale. It was absolutely epic. So what was kind of unique about that sale is the items were very much like primitive country cottage core antique rather than some of the other like very crazy estate sales that we get out here, which are like mid century, one of a kind pieces. So it was kind of nice to go to a sale that was definitely more like what I'm interested in, which is like the stuff that has a lot of history and patina versus a lot of the modern pieces because I sell more of like the country cottage core stuff than I do like the mid century, the mid century stuff. I definitely like pick up from my own home. Uh, but this sale I went to mostly to source. So when I was organizing this haul for you guys, I just kind of just pulled pieces from my stack of 50 pieces that I have to show you. So they're in no particular order. So there's going to be art, there's going to be brass, there's going to be boxes, there's going to be all sorts of like random stuff mixed in. And so the next video will be the same. It's just going to be a free for all of things. So I didn't want to like say all the art was in this one and all the brass was in that one. I wanted to kind of mix it up. So that way there was like things that you guys could be excited about in both videos. So because this estate sale was so crazy and so incredibly crowded, I mean, I literally got cornered in places in that home for five to 10 minutes at a time and couldn't get out because it was that like packed in bananas. And so I didn't get a lot of filming done. I did get some because I wanted to show you guys like, like the experience and like the atmosphere and what it looked like to be there. But I do not have any like thrift with me shopping footage like I would typically when I do my haul videos. So because of that, we're actually going to jump right into the haul right now. So we're gonna kick things off with some of the art pieces I picked up and I'm actually gonna hit you with like my favorite piece. So usually I say this at the end, but I have some other fun stuff at the end that you're gonna see. So I'm gonna hit you with something amazing and that is this vintage floral painting. And I saw this on the wall and it was, I believe 20, yeah, $21.50. Fully framed, gold frame, original painting, artist signed. It is incredible. Yeah, on screen, it doesn't even look as good as, a, as it does in real life. I had my friend come over, Taylor from Portland Revive. You know, she's like my thrifting bestie. She came over to see my haul recently and she's like, oh my God, that paint is even better in real life. And I'm like, I know it is incredible. So this is for me. I'm sorry. So starting off with something for me, um, this type of blue, I usually don't decorate a ton with. I mean, I have a little bit in my wall, but usually blues, but I'm starting to accumulate a few blue paintings and I have a laundry room I need to redo. And I'm like, is that where the blue florals are going? I don't know. So anyways, I can't say no to a floral. I have a really hard time to selling them. So this is going to be for me. But some artwork that's going to be available is this adorable floral painting in the wood frame. This was $8.50. The prices at the estate sale were actually pretty good. Like a lot of margin for me. So that's one of the reasons also why I wanted to make sure I went and I found a lot of stuff because I'm just looking for so much inventory right now. Um, so this is going to be available on Etsy. It is also like artist signed at the bottom. And I just thought it was so pretty. I mean, this is a floral. Oh, it's a floral. So I'm tempted to keep it, but I can't keep everything. <laughs> And this all, even though I want to, so it's going to be available. So another really cute painted thing that I picked up, and this is also was five fifty, and it has some really fun like information on the back about the, who the artist was and artist marking, which I always think is like really adds to the charm of the piece. And this is just painted on board, and it's these cute birds. I actually have 
another bird piece of art that I'm going to show you in the next haul. So you'll have to see that next video. This will be available too. I thought it was super cute, so I had to get it. So painting that was like just literally tucked underneath one of the folding tables was this one. Now this was more expensive. This was 20 and in hindsight, I'm like, should I pay 20 for this? Maybe not, but I always regret the things I don't bring home versus the things that I do bring home. And oftentimes if I were to see this in a state sale setting, I would have been like, that's coming home because it is really good. Like the colors on it are very like moody and it's just a great size. Uh, this type of art size, people have a lot of use for and I sell a lot of small pieces, way more than like the bigger pieces just because people can always find a space for this in their home. So this was 20, like I said. I don't know. It was one of the last things I picked up. I think it's very cool. It's going to be available um, for sale, but yeah. It's just one of those things that after the fact, I'm like, should I have gotten this? But it is art assign and really good. So I guess I can't be too mad that I picked it up. So the last piece of art I'm going to show you in this haul video. And remember, I have more to show you in the next one. Is this very cool, like almost gray scale, black and white type of painting. So this is actually painted. It's framed. It's like a floating frame. You can kind of see how my finger can go inside. So it's a very unique way of framing. It has a silver detail on the outside. It just really, it just spoke to me for someone who likes a lot of color. I just thought it was very cool. And for $5, I can't say no to original paintings that are framed for $5. So this is gonna be available. Um, but like I said, if it's not down, link down below, just send me a message and I'll get it up because I'm very overwhelmed with all of my inventory that I need to like list and price, etc. So I'm kind of behind, to be honest. But these are all the art pieces that I have to show you right now. The next video will have even more, which is just crazy because I picked up a lot of art. Um, but next we're gonna move on to some brass pieces. Now if there was one disappointment at the sale, it was there was not as much brass as I thought there was gonna be. Like there was a room dedicated to copper and I'm like why did this woman not collect as much brass? Now I think the brass could be coming because one thing I have forgot to tell you is that supposedly this estate sale is part one of this estate. Like there's gonna be another estate sale of the same volume of stuff in the future which I can't even like fathom. So maybe all the brass pieces are gonna be there, but I did manage to get a few things. So the first brass piece I picked up, you guys are gonna be like, what? You never picked that up before. And it is this very cool antique, like bathroom organizer, caddy. Um, I guess you put like your soap here and I don't even know what you, I gotta look it up. You know, these types of things actually are valuable. They sell really well, because especially like the ones that are truly vintage and antique because people are loving adding these to their bathrooms because it adds that old world charm. And so I figured like this was 15 bucks. I figured it was a bit of a gamble because I've never sold one of these before, but I do know because I've seen them a lot in like decor magazines and on blogs and on Instagram that these are popular. So I thought, you know what? $15, I can give it a try. This will probably go up on Etsy because um, I know that's where like people would be searching for something like this. So yeah, this is the first brass piece that I picked up, which is like something I've never picked up before. But some of the other brass pieces I picked up, you guys would be like, okay, yeah, that is totally your wheelhouse. So this brass tray, of course, I had to pick up. I sell these all day long. This is only $8.50 and it is painted Indian brass. I mean, look at these handles. I love the beautiful red detail. It's in great shape. I don't think I'm actually gonna shine this up because it's not really dirty. Patina is actually like a nice, aged patina. So, and I really like the size too, because as a catch all on a surface, you know, sometimes usually when I'm picking up these trays are actually quite large. Um, this one is nice because if you had like a small dresser or small coffee table, you know, it's an, it's like big enough to have like a remote or candles or a little bit of jewelry or perfume without having to fill up a lot of real estate. So this is going to sell really well. And this will definitely be a piece I'll put on Etsy. So something silly <laughs> I picked up. There's, there definitely were some silly impulse buys, but these were only a dollar a piece. Um, were these absolutely giant um, paper clips? I just thought they were hysterical. I just love whimsical stuff like this. And I like these ones because they actually said paid and unpaid. Usually when I have found them, they haven't had this like little piece right here. So anyways, for $2 for the pair, I was like, okay, this is... This is something I think it was just fun. It's just like, an, like a cute little styling piece. This will probably go in my booth space. So another brass piece that I picked up is this very cute brass bowl. It was $6 and you know, brass anything really sells. And while I would have preferred it to be bigger, 
Um, I couldn't say no to this one, even though it was six bucks. So I thought it was really cute. Brass bowls in the past I have sold because they're definitely something that it's a type of animal people like to look for. And I thought this one was really, really cute. Uh, but the next brass piece I have to show you, oh, I'm absolutely in love with. So the next brass piece I have to show you, I'm sorry, I'm going to tell you right now it's for me because I don't want anyone to pause the video and go look for it in my Etsy shop because this is for me. I have never seen like a pretzel type of knot like this before. It is phenomenal. I can't believe still that it was there because I was probably an hour and a half into the sale at that point. A lot of my reselling friends who collect and love brass had already gone through probably a dozen times, but this is $18, which is steep for an estate sale and for an item like this. Even though it's well worth more than $18, you know, sometimes you just can't bring yourself to pay the price just because the setting of where the item is. Um, but yeah, I just fell in love with it, styling with it. Oh, I just, it's just one of those pieces, like whimsical, weird pieces that really speak to me. My mother-in-law, um, is a ceramicist and she's actually made me knots out of, you know, like pottery and, and, um, clay. And I have used those many times in styling and everyone always loves that look of having that knot on top of like a book. So I was like, oh, I can't believe I found a brass one. So anyways, I'm sorry. This is going to be for me. So at the sale, there were tons and tons of decorative boxes. And I have always had an affinity for any sort of little box. Like those were the things that I asked my grandparents for before they passed away. When they're like, oh, Andy, what would you like in the will? And I was like, I want all your decorative boxes. <laughs> so I just have always had an affinity for them. And so when I went to the sale and I saw this room that had just basically a, an explosion of every type of box, painted boxes, carved boxes, you name it, I... I just was like a kid in a candy store. So I came home with, I think like seven boxes. So I'm gonna show you three in this haul and then I'm gonna show you some more in the next one. So I'm gonna show you all the painted boxes that I got in this haul. So this one was $4. I love the green and the gold and the flowers. I thought it was beautiful. And then this one might be my favorite painted box because I loved like the gold and the mauve and the pink tones again four dollars which i thought was crazy and then the final painted box is this one which is round and it also has these beautiful blue flowers and so i just love these like folk art type pieces i think they're stunning and so i can show you all of them together and then i'm gonna try at the end of this video to do a pan of all the pieces that i bought because i know sometimes you're like wait we want to see them all together so anyways these were all of them together. So yeah, each one was basically $4, which I thought was crazy. I have been selling small decorative boxes, painted boxes a lot lately because it's just one of those styling pieces that just give so much character. And then they also, of course, like definitely it can act as a utility to put stuff inside, um, especially as, you know, as they get bigger, like jewelry, you know, you name it, cash, whatever. So these are going to be available. I think some of them, like, like this one I'll probably put on Etsy. The other ones, I'm not exactly sure. If there's something that you want, you know, let me know, of course. Um, but I feel like some of these will probably do better at the market that I'm going to be doing because that definitely skews like more cottage and then folk art and whimsical stuff does really well there. So I'm probably going to bring these there. Oh, I don't know. So anyways, this one will definitely be available on Etsy. So the most surprising thing that happened to me at this estate sale, and if you watch Instagram, you'll have seen this, or if you watch my YouTube shorts, and that is that I actually bought four decorative glass pieces. Now, I am not someone who likes glass. If you guys watch my hauls, you know I very rarely pick up anything glass, like decorative glass, glass vases, glass bowls, you name it. I'm just not a glass person. But I went to this estate sale, and the person had the most amazing glass items. Now, some of you are going to say, Andy... These look like pottery, and that's probably why you like them, and that's probably true. These are the most pottery-looking glass pieces a person can probably find, and you guys know I like pottery. So that's probably why I ended up bringing them home. But the story goes, and I know some of you guys have seen it, so I'm sorry about that. You can skip ahead. But I got cornered in a section of the estate sale with this woman. We couldn't get out. It was just so busy. And she was going over the glass pieces that she was interested in, and I'm not really into glass, but... After having her talk about the pieces and being kind of stuck next to her while we waited to kind of break through, I became a glass girly. I just all of a sudden was like, I love them too. And bless her heart, she gave me this one because this is the one I was ooing and all over. And I literally told her she needed to buy them all because they were amazing. And she's like, you like this one, I can tell you need to have it. So thank you. I don't think you probably watch my channel, but if you do, thank you, lady. 
who had the glass because it is stunning. So I think I like these because they remind me of space and constellations. And I just think they're just absolutely stunning. They're hand blown, you can tell on the bottom. And the best part about these pieces, is they're actually artist signed and dated from the 70s. So I need to look up who the artists are and whether or not they're even valuable, but that's not important to me because I really like them and I'm going to keep them, at least for now. My husband actually likes these which is surprising. So anytime we can agree on anything like this, I'm like, okay, that has to stay. So anyways, I thought these were beautiful. I grabbed them. They weren't super cheap. Well, actually no, 12 and nine seems very reasonable. This paperweight I picked up, I, this was like one of those things where I was in the moment because <laughs> this was $17. Again, it is also very intricately, intricately artist signed, like perfect signature. And I don't think you guys can, maybe you can see it a little bit. Um, and also dated. And I thought this was really beautiful. I think my big complaint with a lot of decorative glass is it's always like bright colors. And I think I kind of like the more moody, muted tones. Surprising, I know, because I love bright colors. But I think in glass, maybe that's my thing. I don't know, I'm just kind of exploring this. So I got this, this should be available once I kind of figure out who it's by. If any of you guys know anything about like artisanal glass pieces, please let me know. And then the final glass piece I got was this one from my thrifting pal, Taylor, cause she loves like plain, beautiful sculptural glass pieces like this. And this is a bud vase. And so this is only $6. Again, it has like, this one is not artist sign, but you can tell on the bottom that it was hand blown. And so I got this for her as a gift. Um, but yeah, I thought this one was, uh, it was hard for me to give this to her, frankly, cause the more it sticks around in my studio, the more I want to give it to her. Um, but yeah, I thought this was absolutely stunning. Okay, so moving on to some filler items. The reason I call them filler items is because they're not like super exciting, but you guys know my candle collection. So anytime I find cool candles, I'm like, <laughs> these are coming home. So this whole box of mauve candles was $3, which was very good, better than thrift store places. And look at how tall these are. They're like way bigger than my head. Most of my tapers like end here. So I was like, these are amazing. So I may keep like two and then I'm going to sell some at the market or in my booth coming up because candles are one of those things that, you know, people need and they don't, not a lot of people come across the colored ones as much as like a reseller does. And I also got these ones. These are your traditional slim candles. Like you can see how skinny they are. Um, and these are very important for um, candle holders that require, and actually I have one I'll show you right here on the screen. So this is an example of like a slim candle holder that requires this size. And I kind of have held off selling a lot of slims because not many people know about this candle size or know where to find them, even though you can find them online. So I actually may sell the candles with the candle set this time, just to kind of give that person who buys them, you know, the advantage of not having to store some, because I've, I have enough of these now, the slims that I feel like I can relinquish some. So anyways, this is going to be coming up. And so when I mean sell them, I'm probably going to sell them in person with the candle, not like ship them out because you know my rules about shipping candles, they can break and they can also melt in transit. So that's why I usually don't do it. But yeah, anytime I can find like the old school, like vintage slims, I always pick them up because slim candle holders were super popular and you just can't really find many slims like in a, in a store setting. Usually it's just tapers, you have to buy the slims online. So anyways, anytime I find vintage candles, because I'm picking up so many vintage candle holders, I have to buy them. And this was only $2.50 for this whole box of candles. So a couple more pieces to show you. And the end piece, you're gonna be like, of course you picked that up, Andy. And I'm sure many of you know what it is already, just by me saying that and teasing it. But I did get this beautiful silver box. I like the patina on it. It's definitely like aged, um, but I'm not gonna shine it up because I actually like the patina, which I know is very surprising. But it's velvet line inside. I thought it was really pretty. It was $7.50. Um, I feel like the market that I'm gonna be doing, this is one of those pieces I think that will look really pretty displayed in there because it has a lot of that old world charm and a lot of character. So that's where I kind of bought it for that intention. I'm trying to pick up a few more silver pieces because as you guys know, cool tone metals are coming back in style. So this is kind of one of my gateway pieces into that. But yeah, it is a silver piece from actually in the 90s and it's hard to believe that the 90s are considered vintage now. So that's why I picked it up. So last piece I'm gonna show you is the adorable wicker animal. And I saved it for last because you guys know me and I have a giant wicker animal collection and I do not have whatever this is, which I'm assuming is like, I don't know, a rat? 
or a squirrel? I don't know, but it's a planter. It's so cute. I mean, look at that face. It's just so cute. So he was only $6. And this was another thing that was like there at the end. And I think it's because like, I'm always surprised when I see these and no one has picked them up. But then I'm just like, wait a minute. Not everyone loves wicker animals <laughs> as much as you. Um, and so that's probably why it was still there. Especially ones that are like of a rodent rather than like an elephant or a monkey, you know. This only appeals to a true collector like myself. But I thought he was so, so cute. And for $6, I had to bring him home. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna show you in part one of this haul. The next haul has as many or maybe even more pieces to show you. I have a furniture piece to show you. I have tons of brass to show you in the next one, more art, some more whimsical items. I mean, this haul was... It was crazy, and like I said, I had no idea how to even split it up because there were just so many good pieces to show you. Before I go, I just wanna let you know I'm gonna like pan around each of the items and give you a close up. I know I don't do that usually, but I feel like for this sale and how fast I go through the items, you're gonna wanna see a little bit more of a close up, and so I'm gonna do that at the very end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned right now for an overview of all the pieces that I picked up. <laughs>